Hey, hey fam, Cold Case Cause here. And we made it up here to the top and I just stepped down in these trees so we could get out of the wind for a minute. But I wanted to show you, look this way. See where I'm pointing straight through the trees? That is Madden Peak. So we made it right here to tree line to the top, right here to the base of Madden Peak. And I wanted to show you over here. So this is the trail. And it goes like right around the rim. And this is called the La Plata Enchilada. And it is the trail that circles around and it hits all these peaks. One, two, that's called snake something. I forgot if it's snake's back or snake's teeth. But that was an area heavily searched by <clears throat> search and rescue. So what we've been doing today, I just wanted to show you what we've been doing today is with our binoculars and our high-tech optics where you've been searching these mountainsides and the, you can see the aspen leaves have all fallen off so you can see through the aspen leaves to the actual hillside and to the geography and what that allows us to do is use our optics to look through very carefully and slowly methodically go through all these crevices and drainages because a lot of times if people fall in a rock slide, they can get um, caught up in these drainages here. And you can see way off in the distance, um, those uh, water drainages and snow drainages where avalanches happen in the winter. And sometimes, you know, runners, you, you know, the, this trail goes right up here and all this real loose and gnarly rock. So it would make sense if someone slipped and fell and then, then this, lo this loose rocky area at the top and slid down. Um, and if they were to meet their demise, a lot of times they'll be caught up in these drainages. So I'm very carefully and methodically searching these drainages with our optics. We got some real nice Vortex binoculars. And um, shout out Vortex if you're listening. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but I mean, these little specks, are, I'm looking for anything that looks like a little bright white thing. Because you know that, then you know what that is. That's a skull. So anything that shines bright and white in the sun is um could be a skull. And so it's been one year. He uh he came right up on this trail. I think we're about five or six miles up the trail. And um he came right through here. And uh, so uh a year later, you know, the bones would be scattered, not to get too gruesome, but um and they'd be shining white. Sorry, I hear something. They'd be shining bright and white in the sun. So um, that's why we like to look a year or two later after the fact because of the scatter situation. So, but it's a beautiful fall day here in the La Plata Enchilada. And um, today's our first day, so we're not going to go too hard. Um, but I just, I like these viewing areas, these points where we can scan the mountainsides here. So that's what we're doing is just going around the rim of this enchilada, so to speak. I keep, I, it makes me hungry every time I say it. Um, we've been burning some calories up here. But I'm scanning all these little areas for little white specks. Anything or clothes. He had red shoes. So that's, I've been scanning for little red specks. But anyhow, there's Zuma. Say hi, Zoom. Zuma looks cute. In a... Zuma looks cute in the sun. I just wanted to show y'all some of this hike. We're going to hike back this way, and I'll take y'all with me for a little while. Let's see, the trail keeps going. This is part of the La Plata Enchilada, so David Lund would have came and ran right through here. And the day, like I said, this we're up here at the top. So once you get up here to the top, the trail goes and traverses up over these mountain peaks. And it does a big loop and it goes back down and comes back around. So, but we're going to investigate more and more. But like I said, I don't want to go too hard here in the beginning, but we just spooked a big giant. 
mule deer buck. I wish I had the camera going. But he was a nice one. But see y'all, we're up here at the top. That's across the canyon over there. And they're mining, we're up here in miners country. We're up here in the La Plata's and past some several signs that say mining claims. But this is like a golden forest, y'all. Look how pretty it is. It's Aspen Forest. It's so pretty, I wanted to take you on this little hike. But we just been looking for any sign of anything up here, any type of trash or any type of clothing, anything that's out of place. And the dog's been working hard. And we just cut through this like creepy little forest over here. I wanna take y'all with. Well, look at these big leaner aspen trees. Those are super dangerous. And if y'all know from my previous videos, we found evidence of decomposition. We found a cow that was, the tree fell and killed the cow. An aspen tree fell. And if you want to see that video, you can go down to the Ian O'Brien portion of my page and see that video. It was an unlucky cow. A tree fell and killed it. So I'm all, after seeing that, I'm very wary of these leaner trees. And it makes me wonder, go get them, Zim. Go get them, what is it? It makes me wonder if, like, trees falling could be a cause of some of these disappearances. Huh, Nips? Say hi, Nip. Say hi, Nip. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Good girls, you know. But it's strange because he was up here, he made it up top here, and then at 10.30, the weather rolled in. So David Loon made it up here to the top of Madden Peak. And see, this is Madden's Peak right here, y'all, I wanted to show you. Straight through there. See where I'm pointing? If you look hard, that's Madden Peak. So we're right here at the base, going up to Madden Peak. And David Lunde would have ran right through this area. And it's beautiful Rocky Mountain, San Juan National Forest country up here, yeah. But I hope you're having a blessed middle of the week. <coughs> Just wanted to take y'all on a little safari since we made it up here to the top. So we are right here at tree line, guys, up at like 13,000 something feet. There's a neat little dip down through there. And it's a cool day today. We had our first big freeze last night. So the winter is coming fast. Let's get him. Let's go get him. Go girls, what is it? Very quiet in this forest, y'all. Eerily quiet.
awful quiet. That man, go get him. What is it? Girls, get him. Starting to get later in the afternoon, so we're headed back. Get him, Gail. What is it? Come on, let's work. Let's get him, Gail. Come on. But we're just scanning down here with binoculars. Anything that's miscolored gets investigated. But you see through here, this is what we're scanning, all these drainages and slides up here at the top. And you can see this is the entire La Plata Canyon through here. I'm always checking under big trees too. Checking to see if a tree might have fell. And landed on it.
but you see all the bushes and all the greenery has turned brown which makes it real easy to see down underneath things like these trees and down in these flats when normally you couldn't see down there because it's so green and lush that it covers up everything but now it's all exposed it's a perfect time to search for someone what is it girl what is it So we're scanning through all these down trees, looking for any sign of human life or lack thereof. Look at this green grass growing, y'all. That's beautiful. I bet the deer and the elk love this. Here in this sketchy forest. smell something. What is it there? What get him? What is it? But the bears are getting ready to hibernate, so we're being real careful. I'm really paying attention to the sounds and the smells. But David Lundy had red shoes on and they should stick out like a sore thumb with this background. So I'm just looking for anything red in color. But I just wanted to say thanks for watching guys. And uh, I'll get back to you soon. Blessings.